New York, Hall of Famer Lou Brock, one of baseball's signature leadoff hitters and base stealers who helped the St. Louis Cardinals win three pennants and two World Series titles in the 1960s, and who figured prominently in the most infamous trade in Cubs history, has died. He was 81. Dick Sitzman, Brock's longtime agent and friend, confirmed Brock's death on Sunday, but he said he couldn't provide any details. The Cardinals and Cubs also observed a moment of silence in the outfielder's memory before their game at Wrigley Field. Brock lost a leg from diabetes in recent years and was diagnosed with cancer in 2017. Over my 25-plus years of being his agent, he was perhaps the happiest Hall of Famer I've ever encountered," Zitzman said. The man later nicknamed the Running Redbird and the Base Burglar arrived in St. Louis in June 1964, swapped from the Cubs for pitcher Ernie Broglio in what became one of baseball's most lopsided trades. Brock stole 938 bases in his career, including 118 in 1974 both of those were big league records until they were broken by Ricky Henderson. Brock's death came after Hall of Fame pitcher Tom Seaver died Monday. Brock and Seaver faced each other 157 times, the most prolific matchup for both of them in their careers. Along with starter Bob Gibson and center fielder Kurt Flood, Brock was an anchor for St. Louis as its combination of speed, defense and pitching made it a top team in the 60s and a symbol of the National League's more aggressive style at the time in comparison to the American League. The Cards were World Series champions in 1964 and 1967 and lost to the Detroit Tigers in seven games in 1968. Opposing teams were warned to keep Brock off base, especially in the low-scoring years of 1967-68 when a single run often could win a game. But the speedy left fielder with the pop-up slide was a consistent base-stealing champion and run producer. A lifetime .293 hitter, he led the league in steals eight times, scored 100 or more runs seven times and amassed 3,023 hits. Brock was even better in postseason play, batting .391 with four homers, 16 RBIs and 14 steals in 21 World Series games. He had a record tying 13 hits in the 1968 World Series, and in Game 4 homered, tripled and doubled as the Cardinals trounced Detroit in 31-game winner Denny McLean 10-1. Brock never played in another World Series after 1968, but remained a star for much of the last 11 years of his career. He was so synonymous with base stealing that in 1978 he became the first major leaguer to have an award named for him while still active the Lou Brock Award, for the National League's leader in steals. For Brock, base stealing was an art form and a kind of warfare. He was among the first players to study films of opposing pitchers and, once on base, relied on skill and psychology. In his 1976 memoir, Lou Brock, Stealing is my game, he explained his success. Take a, modest lead, and, stand perfectly still.